Before people start freaking out and yelling at me and saying, it's only been one race, you're overreacting. This is for fun. In the words of Christopher Bell at the LA Coliseum, we're having fun, okay? So, we do this every year. I do this every year. After the first couple of races, Daytona is such a wacky track, and there's always a couple wacky guys who get up there in the top 10, top 15, that the playoff projections after week one or the point standings are so fun. We have to talk about certain guys in the playoffs because it, it, it's so fun. I enjoy it. I'm weird. I'm a sicko. I know. I know. I like talking about Corey LaJoy and Travis Pastrana in the playoffs, okay? So we're going to talk about it. We're going to talk about if the playoffs were to start today, what the playoff standings would be because it's fun. I know it's not actually going to end up like this, but it's still a fun thought. So let's go through these playoff standings. The website's very different from the app, so there's like a vast difference in what I read off here. I'm sorry. This is what it says the playoff standings are as of today. Joey Logano's on top of the points, so he's the one seed. Ricky Stenhouse Jr., he would be in the playoffs off of his win at the Daytona 500. He's second. Chris Buescher is third. Christopher Bell, fourth. Alex Bowman, fifth. Ross Chastain, sixth. Ryan Blaney, seventh. Kevin Harvick 8th, so no surprises there in that top 8, really. I think you could see any of those guys making the playoffs. Maybe Stenhouse would be your longest shot there. Busher, after last year, I think you could see him in the playoffs. But for the longest shot there, I'd say Stenhouse. But if he won a plate race, you could have seen that preseason, and he just won one. After that, you got A.J. Allmendinger, Martin Truex Jr. Uh, Allmendinger, he'd be a little bit of a surprise to people. Um, Brad Keselowski, that would be a surprise to people, but... You know, RFK did have a solid year last year with Busher. Maybe Keselowski improves upon it. Keselowski had a rough year last year, but maybe he's improved over the year. I don't know. He's in the playoffs as of now. Daniel Suarez, that's not really a surprise. And then there's this next one. Travis Pastrana. If the playoffs were to start right now, the one-off entry of Travis Pastrana would be in the playoffs over his two teammates, and his team owner, Denny Hamlin. That's right, Travis Pastrana sits ahead of both of the other 2311 cars and above his team owner, Denny Hamlin, in the points. Crazy stuff after week one, as always. If the playoffs started today, Travis Pastrana, who just wanted to do a one-off in the Daytona 500, he would have to race in the final 10 races of the season and compete for a NASCAR Cup Series championship. Travis Pastrana, one race, makes the playoffs or is in playoff contention is he the greatest driver of all time next to 10 anyways uh yes travis pastrana would be in the playoffs and then another surprise here Corey lajoy would be in the playoffs that's right Corey lajoy usually a pretty solid super speedway racer was able to get up there finishing the top 15 i believe and he would be in the nascar playoffs if they were to start today and then finally for the last two, I think this is the last, no, yeah, these are the last two, I think, yeah. Eric Almirola, Austin Sendrick. Sendrick made the playoffs last year. Almirola is a regular playoff competitor or right outside the bubble. So those, those two aren't too surprising. But, but, if the playoffs were to start today, Travis Pastrana for 2311 racing after a one-off. Um, Brad Keselowski and Chris Busch of the two RFK cars make the playoffs. Uh, Corey LaJoy would be in there. Ricky Stenhouse Jr. would be in there. What a fun playoffs. Like, try to project, try to project the playoff bracket from here. Okay. I'm going to do it right now. In fact, the first four eliminated would be, we're, you know, it's chaotic. Let's get chaotic up in here. LaJoy is going to get eliminated first round. Almendinger is going to get eliminated first round. Brad's going to get eliminated first round. And Blaney. Yeah, those four, gone. Narrow it down. I think, let's see here. The second round, there's another super speedway in there. So we're going to keep Stenhouse. We're going to keep Pastrana. Um, Almirola is going to get eliminated. Cendric's going to get eliminated. Suarez is out. Harvick is out. So the Elite Eight, those tracks are Homestead, uh, Vegas, and Martinsville. Unfortunately, Travis Pastrana's dream run ends here. Uh, after that, Bowman's out, Chastain is out, and hmm, 
Who have I not eliminated here? Uh, Busher's out. Wait, did I already? I think I already got rid of Busher. See, I didn't write this down. Um, let's go Logano out. I don't know. So your championship four would be uh, Stenhouse. I think I don't think I eliminated. I can't remember what I did. So, in fact, I'm just going to make up a championship four right here. I've wasted a minute of your life talking about something that won't happen. Um, my final four is going to be Stenhouse, Pastrana, uh, LaJoy, and Keselowski. That's the most fun final four I can think of. My NASCAR Cup Series champion out of LaJoy, Stenhouse, Pastrana, Keselowski. Hmm, Pastrana. That'd be a really fun story. I think everyone would be happy with that. Travis Pastrana is going to be your 2023 NASCAR Cup Series champion. Nothing you can do about it. He's winning it all. Put all your money on Travis Pastrana winning the championship. Don't actually. I don't think he even has those odds, so you can't put your money on that. But if you can, don't actually. Would not be a wise business decision. He, uh, He's only actually racing one race. But yes, that was a fun little video I did. We talked about the playoffs that aren't actually going to happen. And... I'll see you guys in the next video. Auto clubs this week. It's going to be a fun time. I'm looking forward to it. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more fun videos like this, we'll, we'll, we might do it again next week if the playoff points are still wacky.